Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Aussie Starcraft. As we bring you more of the excellent games from MLG's Game On, the bottom left-hand side of Yonsu, it is going to be Kane as our purple Zerg player. In the top right-hand corner, as our orange Zerg, we have uh, Root Cats playing under his moniker, the Gun Run. Now uh, we're in game two of this series. It is the winners' match of the game A. Uh, the uh, sorry the Group A stage of this tournament, so uh, current, currently we have Kane with a 1-0 lead, Cats trailing him, and uh, it's a best of three series, so if Kane can win this match he will progress to the next stage of this tournament, and uh, Cats really needs this game to uh, take this take this series to a three game to a game number three. Wow, a little bit tongue-tied there, guys. My apologies. Has been an epic day's cast. We've cast a lot of games today, there, and there's so many uh, more amazing games to cast from this series. This uh, ZVZ always very, uh, very volatile matchups. We've had some great, uh, a lot of Protoss versus Zerg in the Group A stage of this tournament. We've got uh, Kane and Cats for our Zerg players and uh, Huck and Puck for our Protoss players. So uh, even the names of these uh, players uh, tended tended to get me a bit uh, tongue-tied. So my apologies if I do uh, get names back to front. Cats and Kane and Huck and Puck very uh, close together, and we have been casting a lot of their games today. Looks like uh, Kane's actually going to mix things up a little bit. Going to grab his spawning pool first. Likewise, we have uh, Cats doing a very similar thing. Last game saw both our players uh, grabbing their hatch before pool, so naturally both both these players are, are slightly uh, feeling a little edgier in game number two. Obviously, Katz wants to ensure that he doesn't uh, suffer from a similar fate as game number one, and uh, on the other hand, we have uh, Kane here trying to uh, close out the series as, as quickly as he can. So we have a have a queen on the way now for. Kane and Cats are actually going for a very quick swell of Zerglings. We have Zergling speed already on the way for Cats. Cats actually electing to go for a, a bit of a surprise one base play here. We have four Zerglings on the way. A Queen now coming up behind us, and uh, this will hit home well before uh, well before there's much defense in place for Kane. So if uh, Cats can make it happen with these Zerglings, he'll be in a good position to take this take this game back. Uh, However, if he's caught, caught uh, unawares, it will will leave Cats in an excellent position to claw this series back. We have these four Zerglings here. We know that uh, we know that Kane spotted. He has thrown down a spine crawler in his main base to try and support this. Though uh, we do see six Zerglings already here for four cats. We have a queen joining uh, Kane's forces here, trying to do a little bit of damage to this hatchery. Actually managing to pick off that drone there. Ni nice little pick up, but we have a queen already on the way at this natural base, and Katz really has has to commit here. He has to, has to make it work here, and now there's two, uh, there's a spine crawler coming down, another one being constructed. Cat, uh, as you can see, Kane scouted the natural of cats. He knows that there is no expansion, so Cats has to do it here and now. Has to has to pull down this expansion, otherwise he will just be caught in the overwhelming swell of lava production that uh, Kane has. Kane trying to get this expansion down. Bailing's being detonated on the queens, but unfortunately unable to uh, quite quite do the damage needed. Queen's very well armored. Probably would have been better served getting those units up into the. Uh, into the mineral line, and we do have do have the workers being pulled off here. A little bit of Zergling micro from Cats going to be picking off some of these workers. We have one worker's gone down already, though. Uh, ideally, Cats wants to do a lot more damage than that. A few more Zerglings working their way up from from the expansion. Though, as as you can see, it's very difficult for Cats here. He's trying to produce these units off a single base, off an 11 drone economy, but. Uh, Kane now has two hatcheries here and and almost has his queens back in place. So a lot of lava, these zerglings pinned to the main base. Things looking uh, a little bit dire for cats here. He need, really needs to take out uh, more of the production of Kane. Kane just showing some great uh, zerg play in this group stage as thus far, managing to even uh, get the edge here over cats, which is certainly an accomplishment. Cats one of one of the slipperier zerg opponents and. Unfortunately, a Zergling's unable to slip out of there, and it's just a lone, solitary Zergling left left in the main base. Cat's forced to rely on a Baneling bust here to try and uh, 
try and bring this game back. If we look at the income tab, it is 12 harvesters, so 13, so very even. But what's not even is the lava production. We're going we're gonna to have two uh, hatcheries that can be injected by queens. These zerglings, unfortunately, unable to get up into the main. They will be held out by these queens. Bailings here trying to decide what they will do, but uh, queens able to tank just so many bailings. Can the bailings get into the main? That's a real question, and unfortunately, Cat's being forced back out of this expansion yet again. These spine crawlers and queens proving to be the ideal defense against the Zergling Bangling onslaught of cats. Very well armored, as you can see. The uh, spine crawler have a base armor of two, queens have a base armor of one, so they take a lot of damage as opposed to lightly armored Zerglings and Banglings of Cain. So cats, cats trying to get get into the soft underbelly, but unfortunately all those Banglings going down. Spine crawler is still alive there. Queen's going to hastily transfuse it, and Kane just doing a great job of holding this aggression off. Just between his queens and his spine crawlers, great, great hold here. There is a baneling here. If this baneling gets into Kane's for into Cat's force, it will be uh, quite devastating. Nice micro from Cat's there is able to pluck that baneling out from the middle of the force. Second baneling does go down. These Zerglings trying to pick off a queen but unable to do so. Cat's grabbing expansion of his own is now up and running so he can start to uh, equalize things here. The question is will Kane elect to continue drone up or will he just produce a, a heavy swell of Zerglings? Looks like he has got the Roach Warren coming down again. Roach Warren served him well in game one. And we can see the lava bank up here. It, in the, on Cat's side of the field, we have two lava in storage. If we check out uh, Kane's side of the field, we are actually up to nine lava. So there's a potential for a massive swell of units. Cat's, Cat's unfortunately is supply blocked as one of his overlords got picked off by the Queen, and uh, doing his very best to try and macro his way back in this game. Actually, going for one base, well, well, two base spire now. So virtually a one base economy, only a few few workers managing to saturate his natural expansion. Can he hold off for long enough? There are roaches on the way. He's got to know he's fighting against the clock here. Roaches could be on the way any moment, and here they are, the first three on the way now. A large bank of lava here, able to produce another six or eight roaches once once the money uh, is, is in play. We have the spire still uh, roughly a minute away, so mutilus two minutes away. Can cats get enough minerals and gas here to, to get the mutilus out. If he does manage to make it to the mutilus stage, they will uh, naturally fare very well against the roaches. Roaches unable to shoot, shoot air units, but uh, the question is, can he get enough of them in time? And there, there are a substantial number of roaches, eight roaches, each of them with 145 HP. Very difficult for mutilus to kill uh, in any sort of quick fashion. But uh, we'll see it. We'll see if cats can buy himself enough time that this uh, this rush to mutilisks will pay off. We uh, have enough have enough gas for potentially four muters. First, first zerglings from uh, from Kane making their way up here, but the roach is going to barrel their way straight down this spine crawler. Unfortunately, going to go down. We have mutilisks morphing in now. We have five mutilisks on the way, but the question is, can he get enough of them on the field to clean up these roaches? I think. The answer to that may, unfortunately, for cats be no. We've got massive swells of banelings and roaches looking quite terrifying as they barrel their way up the ramp. We have the mutilus up here. Can he pick off these units quick enough? The workers trying to survive here. We have zerglings and banelings exploding everywhere. Roaches here trying to pick off as much units as they can before these mutilus are able to bring them down. But unfortunately, we have almost all of the workers for cats have been taken out. And there's cats gg out, always super mannered as he... Uh, unfortunately uh, takes his second loss there. That means that Kane will will progress to the next stage of the tournament. Cat still has an opportunity to verse the winner of the loser's bracket and uh, still has an opportunity to progress. We'll see if he can make good on that or and we'll see who who he'll actually be facing in that finals match. So stay tuned. We have the losers uh, match coming up following this. So it'll be a best of three series between uh, Huck and Puck. So it's going to be some PvP action. So uh, tune in for that. It will be all uploaded to the channel momentarily. And uh, by all means, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do. We have so much more MLG action coming up right after this. So tune in. If you've got any comments or feedback, please put it down below. We always enjoy hearing from you and uh, always looking to improve our, improve my casting. So looking forward to any feedback that you've got, guys. Hope you enjoyed the cast, and we will see you in the next game.